essays can come out, in this case on Greece, and they can go viral. Ken Rogoff's essay went viral last night, and Bonnie has it as an important morning must-read. Right, Tom, it's in Project Syndicate. You can see it there, and it's entitled Why the Greek Bailout Failed, so no guesses of what the subject matter is. Here's a quote. The lessons from Greece and other unsuccessful bailout programs are sobering if a debt bailout program requires a wholesale change in a country's economic, social, and political model. The best course of action might be to write off the private losses rather than pour in public money to cover them. He argues, Tom, that you know a, a bailout in, in, in requires a bespoke uh, sort of a bespoke program from the IMF, along with uh, yeah. agreement from the country itself. And when I read it, Mike McKee, I thought it was absolutely at the heart of his classic book. This time is different. That private debt is what everyone ignores in these tragedies. Yeah, the problem, though, is uh, talking about who's to blame is a problem that's going to have to wait for another day because Greece is on the brink right now. And it doesn't really matter who's to blame. It matters in the next few days what they do to fix it. May I say, with your, particularly with your work with Nick Malkutsis and Kath Marini, uh, Michael McKee, that this is a quadratic function. And what we're missing is we had to get from Monday to Wednesday. And it's going to be a lot harder to get from Wednesday to Friday and even harder, harder for the Greek people lined up at ATMs and all that to get from Friday on to Monday. This is moving rapidly, isn't it? You've got it? to get from the referendum to July 20th when the payment to the ECB is due and they may actually default. And here's the problem. There's no money in the Greek banks. Headline came out. Yanis Varoufakis in Guy Johnson's interview said there's no problem with the banks. And just seconds later, exactly. headline from Yaron Dysselblum, the Eurogroup leader, said the big problem in Greece is the banks. The ECB is not giving them more money. They're barely able to meet the demand right now. What happens in that two or three And I noticed yesterday period? in one reporting that there's no fuel in northern Greece for emergency vehicles, just one of those little And anecdotes. even more troublingly, you know, prescription drugs, it's very difficult to get access to them for people who need them. So that's, I mean, that's, you know, a real world... Uh, problem, but I think what Ken Rogoff is saying as well that is that you need the backing, you need the belief of the people, and that's what's that's what's going to be wrong with the Sweden well, well, referendum. We're, we're going to get a very close result. Right.